Yo, what up, Jeremy here. I wanna be talking about an internship and like how to get one. And I'm gonna speak from my personal experience because I've done two internships. One technically was involved when I was actually in design college. In the last year of the last semester, we actually got to do an internship as part of the course. And I put my hand up first for the first one that came up, which is really cool. I got to do it with Semi Permanent. They're actually a big event that happens in Australia, which is really awesome. And they get big speakers and the tickets are like 250 bucks. So it's a, it's a pretty big thing. Um, but I worked on a small project where they had a collaboration with our university. So I got to do like, uh, it was mainly like poster designs. It was very typographic, very cool. And I think I have a, a tutorial on my YouTube um, showing you how I did that one. But um, but yeah, that was pretty cool. Did that, that was fun. Then when I finished college, I actually applied for heaps of them. And I'll be honest guys, like sometimes you'll apply for heaps and get no response or they'll say no and that's okay. It's normal. It's part of the process because at the end of the day, you know, graphic design is competitive. There's so many different people out there trying to apply for the same jobs, no matter what country you're from. I'm from Australia, so there's heaps of creative people here and amazingly talented people. But at the end of the day, if there's only one or two spots available, you know, they've got to pick the one that's best for that company, right? So, you know, just keep applying. I think I applied for like, for like 20 or 30 places. I just kept going because I wanted to make sure that I got experience. And then I got this position at Vibe Creative. It was a two month internship, it was unpaid, but I got to work on, on really cool projects like Kellogg's. Um, I was working on like Coco Pops packaging and St. Peter's ice cream. Um, I got to do some real estate design, like some logos and also some poster design, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, I learned heaps there. And you know, all I did was had a, a resume, a CV, and I had my cover letter. Kept it very simple. You can take a look, I'll put it on the screen, but it was very simple. Uh, I kept it straightforward, very professional. And at the end of the day, when I walked into that place, I had it, uh, had it on my like iPad that I was using. And I just put my portfolio on there and you know, I dressed nice, put a button up and I sat there and just, you know, as I asked questions, just talked very friendly. You know, it's all about personality. Are you positive? Are you, do you have an ego? Like, are you showing willingness to learn? Are you very open-minded? Uh, you know, can you talk through your portfolio professionally and do you know what you're talking about? You know, some of those things really helped me get that position. But overall, it was great. They called me and then I got to work there for a few months and yeah, got as much experience as I could. I eventually left. They did start paying me after the, on the third month because they needed some extra help. So that was pretty cool. I was getting like 200 bucks a day, um, which was not bad at the time. And I was just I was just willing to learn and just grow. So, you know, th that's my experience from getting internships. You know, so make sure you apply as much as you can. You can look on websites such as like Pedestrian Jobs, also Shillington College if you're in Australia. But I'm sure there's heaps of other ones online. Um, like We Are The Makers, um, that's another creative job list as well. And there's plenty of others. And it's better to get real world experience in a company because it's a lot easier for me to talk and ask questions to my creative director that I'm working with because she can respond or he re can respond, you know, right in front of me. I can ask questions if I need help. If I'm stuck on something, you know, we can talk about things. And it's just a, an, an environment that's conducive to learning, you know? So that's why I feel like everyone should do a, an internship, at least one, uh, even if it's like a month or two, just to, you know, get experience, start learning the systems, you know, start learning the processes. How do they deal with clients? How do they design their, you know, their documents? And all that, all those things are very important. And I believe that that's why you should get, um, get an internship. And hopefully these tips helped you on how to apply and where you can apply to get some internships. So thanks girl, so much. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful and let me know if you've done an internship, maybe drop some tips in the com in the comments if you wanna add something, uh, which is really cool. But make sure you guys smash the like button and hit the subscribe button because it lets me know that you guys like this content so I can create more of it. I really appreciate you. Hope you have an awesome week and I'll talk to you soon.